Hello financial fans, Thursday, June 16th. I have not looked at the numbers yet. This uh, will be a bit longer than my usual videos, uh, my financial videos, because I'm going to be doing the math as we look at the numbers and uh, might as well get started. What I'm going to look at first is my portfolio, the percentage that it has gone down or up today. I have not uh, checked and I see it has gone down 2.98%, about 3%. That is a lot. It's a big drop, but uh, it's not the end of the world, I don't believe. Oh, look, uh, the reporters, I guess, are checking into all that stuff. Uh, down 2.98%. The S&P 500 is down, is it 3? 3.25 percent. The Dow Jones Industrial is down 2.41 percent. So the Dow uh, Dow 30 stocks are beating me. They're down only 2.41 percent. The Nasdaq comes in last. It's down over 4 percent. And uh, the predictions, I guess, for the future are not uh, too good, but uh, let me look at uh, what I want to look at next is where am I year to date. So what I'm going to do is take a look at the number that has the gross amount of money in my portfolio and I will figure it out to be that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I know the number I'm going to be using now. What I have to do is go to the percent calculator and uh, We'll do that with uh, a tab here. As I said, this will be a little bit longer than the usual uh, videos, but I'm going to be doing the math as I go along. Uh, percent P E R C M P calculator, and I click on that, and I get uh, this site, and I put in what is what percent of, and I know the percent of uh, my numbers here. Excuse me for taking my time, but this uh, makes it more real. Okay, uh, I know what number goes in there. Percent of there. So put this down here. Okay, and uh, I put, mm -hmm, which is, I think this is what I want. This is what I want. Zero, zero, zero. I think that's what I want. Let's see if that's what I want. Where is it? Where is it? It's not there. Go ahead and click. Okay, 15.3 is the percentage that my portfolio is down for this year. 15. Point three. Now I will look at Yahoo. Yahoo has great financial pages and what I'm going to do is go to the finance pages at Yahoo. I'm going to type in, uh, I'll, I'll do two different numbers just to be absolutely sure. V-O-O, V-O-O, there it is, and the percentage down for V-O-O Vanguard 500 Index Fund. The percentage down 21%, 21.08% for the year, and just to be sure, we'll put in SPY, which should also be 21%. Let's see if that comes out like that. SPY, and, and SPY was down 3.31% today, and year to date, 1761 is that what the other one was? 17.61. Uh, 
No, it was 21%. Why is there a difference? There, there are sometimes differences, but usually they're very minute. Um, year to date, it could be that some numbers haven't been calculated yet. By the way, the numbers for tomorrow are up slightly. Uh, that also could be a thing if they're figuring the numbers in advance. Whatever. I am ahead of the S&P 500 for the year thus far, but I'm way behind. 15% is a long way from being a successful investor, but I shall not be selling. I have 77 stocks. I'm doing better than the S&P 500. I did not, fortunately, I did not have any cryptocurrency uh, in the mix. Uh, um, I am not sure cryptocurrencies are a bad thing or a good thing. It's just that today and for the past month or so, they've been a pretty bad investment. And there are people in high places who are making decisions right now that are not favorable to the stock market and investors. It's just the way it is, and I'm going to be hanging in there. I don't expect to suddenly uh, roll over and play dead. I'm, I'm going to uh, be investing for a long time, and I've been through things similar to this before, but not this bad. This is the worst I've seen the stock market in my lifetime. I was not around in 1929, so I don't know how bad that was. I'm sure it was incredibly bad, and it lasted for decades. Uh, it's amazing how much damage certain hands can do when they get on the wheels of power and uh, have decision-making, uh, I won't say abilities, they have decision-making uh, legal legalities, that's it, that's what they have. They, they can make decisions, but the decisions aren't always great. And what I will tell you, first of all, I'm not a financial advisor, and any money you put in the stock market you can lose, but if I were a financial advisor, I would probably be telling those who valued my financial uh, analysis. I would be telling those people, stay in there. Don't run when the market drops like this. Eventually, it's going to stop and it's going to go up. Uh, and I would say 2024, by the time we have the ability to foresee who is going to be the leader of the free world, and we have an ability to see what has happened during 2023 and 2024. When that time comes, the market is going to be going up. That is my prognosis. And I'm going to be there, and I'm going to be here. And not much more I can tell you. Uh, I'm not sure which stocks, I'm not going to go through all 77. I'm not sure what. I want to, here's what I'll do. Let me go to my stocks and see if there is any stock that was up. That will be a uh, good thing to find out. Uh, positions. Okay, now there's red ink, red ink, red ink. And red ink. And so far not one stock is... Okay, here's a stock that's up. And it's up uh, 67 cents on a 50. That's good. It's up 10%. Uh, Gilead, G-I-L-D, is up. Gilead is up. Here's one that has not moved. M-B-T, it's neither up nor down. And here's another one that's up. 26 cents on an $84 stock. Merck, M-R-K, is up. So the uh, the medical type stocks are doing well. Health uh, care type stocks. Now, what is this one? This is up 49 cents on an $81 stock, and that's NVS. NVS. Here's another one that's up. PM, Philip Morris, is up six cents, a $98 stock. Here's one that's up eight cents. SBSW, that's financial. 
three cent move upwards in SMFG. So there are some stocks that are uh, fighting back. X, uh, U.S. Steel is up. This is up very much. Up 44 cents for a $21 stock. That's a nice move upwards. So uh, take a look at X and see what uh, U.S. Steel is doing. But uh, with all that in mind, I will let you return to your decision making and how you uh, decide to invest. The thing to watch out for right now is people who are on the world stage who think they should act. And maybe it'd be best if they stayed in their room and didn't answer the phone or uh, go to the door if someone knocks us. Uh, I'm happy being me and being here and now. And Keep uh, you advised of my uh, thoughts about the market, the financial. Oh, by the way, one of the reasons I haven't been making any videos in the last few days, I lost uh, the mouse that I had for my computer. Uh, broke. I didn't know they could break, but it uh, wouldn't work, and I couldn't do any videos. It's amazing how much we need a mouse these days. But I do have a new mouse now and I'll be making some videos and I thank you very much for watching.